Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Todd Coombs and this is where I do my photography. This is a photography channel. If you've never been here before, welcome to the channel. We do all kinds of things photography related here. Today's going to be no exception. If you are a regular watcher of this channel, you know I've not been on for a while. we just been crazy busy and that's a good thing. However, the YouTube algorithm expects me to keep uploading. So I got to do it and I apologize I've not been on for a while, but uh, back in the studio today, you know I love being in here and we're going to do something uh, simple but productive and I hope it inspires you a little bit. Uh, I am a stock photographer. I've done it for probably 15 plus years. I think the first time I got on stock photography in the digital age at least was in 2008. I don't put a lot of work into it these days. However, I have had an image recently, and I've talked about it on the channel, uh, that has just blown up. Uh, this shot of the Santa hat on white, it is just a simple photograph. I did it here in the studio. Um, it's probably selling at least 15 times a day, every single day. It's just remarkable. I haven't had any images that I can remember ever doing what this one is doing right now. And I'm sure through November, it'll probably do it. Maybe into December, it's probably just gonna go from you know, 100 miles an hour to zero as soon as Christmas comes, but that's super exciting. So today I'm going to do some stock photography of just ordinary items on white because those things tend to sell. Now, I just had a birthday. Um, I'm kind of at that point in my life where I don't really need anything. There's, you know, there's nothing that, you know, I'm getting hard to buy for, I guess is the, my point. However, my wife knew that I've been wanting this shovel for a long time. Every once in a while, I need a shovel. So she bought me a shovel. She knows that the rake that I have is in bad shape, so she bought me a rake. So I got this shovel, I got a rake, and before I use it, get it all messed up and scratched up and dirty, I'm gonna take some pictures of these two items, just basic household items on a white seamless for the sake of stock photography. It's going to be a little on the boring side, but it's going to be simple and hopefully they'll take off like the Santa hat at some point and, and make a little bit of money. Hey! Now, before I get going, let me, sh let me sh talk about a couple things. I have recently got these uh, wireless mics, DJI, I always say that weird, DJI, I always say DGI, but DJI microphones. Let me know what you think. I don't always like clipping it to my collar. It's like right up here. So I've got it on this little lanyard thing um, and I cut the little metal piece off so it's not making noise. Let me know what you think of that. Um, the nice thing is I can walk way over here and still talk to you and you can still hear me. I can walk around the set and do different things. Um, so that's the intention of that. The other thing is my studio is an absolute mess. Now, um, let me show you a little bit what's going on. Um, this right here is a table that I normally shoot on. It is now set up with all of the insurance junk that's going on um, because my house got hit by a tree in Hurricane Helene, if you didn't know that. Um, so I'm dealing with a bunch of insurance stuff. I now have another part-time job. Photo gear all over the place. My uh, desk is an absolute wreck absolutely crazy and my desk is not normally there i moved it because the ceiling was leaking um, during the storm and that's yet to be repaired so i'm a little leery of moving it back where it would go because if the tarps that are on my roof leak um, i might have issues so the other thing and don't tell my wife i told you this uh, she is now using her desk quite a bit more this is all her stuff right here for a long time, she didn't even, I mean, it was her desk, but she was never there. Um, but she has gone back to school. She's going to college. I'm very proud of my wife. She's going to go get her teaching certificate. Um, don't tell her I told you that either. But she is in here a whole lot more than she used to be. Uh, so, I mean, this room j gets used. Uh, we work out of here and we do a lot of stuff. But it's a bit of a mess. But I'm going to make a room to uh, shoot these two items. And uh, it's a beautiful day. I might have to go for a walk later, but let's, uh, let's get a couple stock images done. OK, 
Okay guys, years and years ago, I used to work with a guy back in the film days. Can you see those kinks that I've just put in this seamless? When I was assisting, I worked with a guy that, I mean, when we put out a piece of seamless, he would be like, do not kink my seamless. Now, I have just made a mess of this seamless and I think about working with him all those years ago. But back, back in those days, we didn't have Photoshop. We couldn't fix things. So those kinks would show up and of course they would cast shadows and catch the light and be an absolute wreck. But I think of him every single time I put out Seamless because uh, he was adamant about not kinking the Seamless and I've just made a disaster of this. Now, one thing about the Seamless today, number one, can Photoshop out those kinks fairly easily. I'm still pretty adamant about being neat and tidy with the Seamless, but in this case, I'm probably gonna cut these items off the background. Um, because I want a nice clean white background and with an item this size and in a small space like this, especially when it's as messy as it is, it's going to be hard to make the background evenly white, edge to edge and perfect with, with no gradation. So I'm going to get it so that this item looks nice, the highlights, everything, the lighting is good, and then we'll probably just cut it out in Photoshop. Now the last thing I got to do before I get this in place, before I light it, is I want to remove any tags, any logos. Um, this will probably stay Craftsman. However, I'm going to have to Photoshop that out. I can't have any logos, any names, any branding like that. Um, so I'm going to take this one sticker off. Of course, it's leaving some residue. So we, we might have more Photoshop work than I care to do, but... Um, for a stock photo, it can have no branding whatsoever. So I'm gonna get this to stand up, wipe it down a little bit. Um, I don't really think I can get this off. I'm gonna to have to just clean that up in Photoshop. Um, but I think the red makes it look good anyway. So yeah, let's get this standing up, cleaned up, and I'll get some lights on it. <music> All right, so I think I'm gonna use the 16 to 55 f2.8 lens. I would love to use the macro lens and get back. I just don't think I have the space to do that. Um, so I'm gonna use this at 55 millimeters if I can get away with it. Let's see what I can do. Um, obviously gonna be a vertical shot, I believe. We're gonna you know, use the most of this sensor as we possibly can. So the story of my life is that the studio is always five feet short from what I need. ISO 160, probably gonna be in the F8 range. Let's try that again, here we go. Very close. Now I've only got the one softbox at the moment. I took the grid off. Um, can't see me very well, okay. Softbox, took the grid off. All I've got is light on this one side. I'm gonna put a light on the other side from behind going forward, give it a little bit of rim lighting. And um, we should be pretty close. I'm not trying to do anything too complex with the lighting. I just want simple, clean. Um, it's a stock photograph. It just, it just needs to be clean and simple, straightforward. All right, let me show you what I did. That is the stand that holds the background, and I have put a light on the top of that stand. Now that is a little shaky. That's wonky for sure, but it's there. I don't think it's going anywhere. Let's make sure that it's gonna fire. Um, okay, that definitely went off. I'm not sure if it, you could see that on the video, but it did go off. Ooh, now my main light's not going off. Why isn't the main light going off? Because that says off. Why would it do that? That's weird. I love Godox lights, but they do occasionally do something weird. Let's see, that's A. Why are we off? Oh, I know what I did. I, I was trying to fire it, pushed the wrong button. So we want A on manual. Okay, there we go. Let's try that again. 90% of the time, user error. 
All right, I'm going to turn that uh, backlight up a little more powerful. I probably put a, a uh, fill card on this side, and I think we'll have it. So a couple of adjustments, and we're there. neat and tidy and so there shot number one let's uh, move on to the rake and get the second shot okay that uh, the rake is taller and I was at 55 millimeters back up a little bit so I can hopefully hang on to that now my background's not high enough. I'm going to raise the background up just a little bit, and we should be good. Uh, the problem with the background is I've got that light up there. And like I said, it's a little janky up there in the first place. I really don't want to knock that light off. I'm cutting it out anyway, so let's, let's see where we're at. Yeah, I don't hate it. I'm going to raise my camera angle up a little bit. Hopefully take care of that. Now one thing I will say about shooting something like this is this, this, I'm not, this is not my portfolio by any means. These are saleable stock images. Um, I'm not trying to create something for my portfolio. Now I'm not trying to be haphazard or not do things right. That is not in any way, shape or form what I'm saying. But I guess what I am saying is they don't have to be as perfect as um, if I'm trying to create portfolio pieces or something like that, that I'm trying to sell what I'm, my services or show that I can do things outside of what the average person is doing. I think I can simply uh, cut it out in Photoshop, put it on a nice clean background. Um, and we should be good. So I'm going to bring everything into the computer, do a little bit of Photoshop work, and we will have created two nice, very simple uh, stock images. You know, and like I said at the beginning, I have images that I've shot just everyday items on white backgrounds that sell more than, you know, the real pretty stuff. And so that's part of the nature of the stock game. You got to produce things that will sell and that there is a need for. So. Hopefully these two items uh, will be that. Now let me show you something here real quick, guys. You can see my C-stand coming in here. All that's gonna get cut out, so not a problem. You can see my paper down here at the bottom. Again, not an issue because I'm gonna cut all that out. And it's got a bunch of cleanup that I'm gonna have to do. And then on this one, uh, the rake, you can see my softbox. Again, not an issue because Everything is going to get cut off and put onto a nice clean white background. Um, so it's just a visualizing it, the end product, to uh, get the best results. Okay guys, there you go. Two very simple shots on white. And I often take the opportunity when I get a new item, whether it is a rake and a shovel or a new pair of shoes, I take an opportunity before I use them while they're still in good condition, pristine and not all banged up and dirty to take a photograph, whether it be for my portfolio or in this case for stock. There is probably some sales potential in images like what I just did. So that's why I do it. Um, Hopefully it inspired you to, you know, 
I don't know, get out and do some photography, if nothing else, you know, maybe not for stock, but just for yourself um, and get in the studio and light things and, and, and just be creative. So comments, questions, complaints, as always, leave them in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, thank you for all your comments in the past. If you'd leave me a thumbs up, uh, I would appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed yet, think about subscribing. I appreciate that as well. Uh, we're almost at 3,000 subscribers, so that's a big deal. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And until the next time, I will see you. Have a great weekend. See you in the next video. Thank you.